Hello friends, uh, after a long time, we come back to the PowerPoint presentation about the cancer biology. We have seen uh, uh, the many live videos of cancer biology and we have seen the properties of cancer cells and all this. Now in this particular video, we will be talking about the growth pattern of the cancer cells. Okay, we know that cancer cells are having the ability to grow independently and uh, independent of any kind of growth signal. So they can grow very rapidly and they can proliferate in a small amount of time. Now if you look at the growth curve of them, it will help us to understand uh, uh, the difference between the growth pattern of a healthy cell and a cancer cells. Okay, so let me take a color first. Okay, fine. Now here uh, you can see that this blue color line is uh, for the healthy cells and the red lines are for the cancerous cells. Now what happens in general conditions, so uh, we need to monitor all these growth patterns and everything in laboratories. So remember I have talked uh, before that uh, we are having petri dishes and on the dish we are having the growth mediums uh, which can sustain all the uh, which can sustain those cells because it can carry all the necessary nutrients and water for the survivability of the cells. So onto these plates we are, we are having cell lines or we can have cell strains and we have discussed the difference between cell lines and cell strains. Okay, so suppose this plate uh, is containing uh, the medium and onto the medium we are having cells, uh, layer of cells, sheet layer uh, like cells. Now here what happens for the normal cells where we haven't added any kind of growth factor from outside. Remember I have told you before that nutrients are different thing. Nutrients are required for the survivability of any cell but these growth factors are something which is not that much necessary but we need to add from outside for to, to enhance the growth of the normal cell. Now if this is a normal cell and we are adding this growth factor from outside then you can see this when we are having normal cell without having any growth factor in the medium this will grow just after a few time it will have a stationary phase it will reach a stationary phase where no longer division uh, will occur because you can see after a few division uh, the plate will be really crowded and the cell won't uh, be able to divide again so after some time it will be there so it is here in this x-axis we are having time of cultures in days and in the y-axis we are having the cell number so the number of cells after fewer division it will become a constant value for the normal cells without the addition of a serum growth factor now for the normal cells if you add growth factors then you can see it proliferates it, it enhances the proliferation of cell it enhances the division and growth of the cells pretty rapidly now you can see from here it is just taking off as a uh, value of log then it will kind of balances and then it stabilizes but still the number of cells we can find is much much and much higher in case of uh, when we add the serum growth factor here serum growth factor is providing uh, the necessary uh, proteins or chemicals which will enhance uh, the growth of those cells. Now if we consider uh, the cancer cells, so let me change this color, if we consider the cancer cells, so in normal case the cancer cell, this is the red line, this red dot line is the normal cancer cell without the growth factor. You can find that without the growth factor normal cell cannot uh, divide after few divisions because the place become crowded, contact inhibitions take place and the cell will stop dividing but in case of cancer cells we can find even without the growth factor it is growing exponentially like that because they are immortal like so they will grow exponentially even without the serum growth factor now if we add serum growth factor along with the cancer cells it's a bonanza for them so they are thriving like that but still this is exponential, this will go on and on like that because these cells are literally immortal. If we continuously supply them with food sources as a growth medium and continuously supplying this serum growth factors, they are growing. They will be grown that much rapidly in time. So they will grow and grow and grow. That was is their ability. So this is the difference between the normal cell growth and the cancerous cell growth. They are exponential, they are thriving because the contact inhibition is never there and the uh, loss of growth regulation takes place inside these cancer cells. Okay, so that's it and I hope it will help you. Thank you.